what lies deeply hidden in the East China Sea that could turn our concept of history upside down? What secret does a massive underwater structure older than the first pyramids of Egypt hold for us? A testimony of a lost civilization so monumental and mysterious that it's hard to believe. But why is this archaeological treasure seemingly ignored? Is there possibly more to it than mainstream researchers would have us believe? The year is 1985, when Japanese diver Kiyachiro Arataki sets out into the underwater world to open up new diving grounds for tourists. But instead of exotic sea creatures and fascinating underwater plants, he found something that still divides experts into two camps today. A huge, strange-looking rock platform that was apparently man-made. In order to correctly assess the significance of this discovery, we should keep one circumstance in mind. The area in question has been underwater for 8,000 years, while the structure is about 200 meters long and 150 meters wide, a fundamental question arises. Who built it? Who was capable of mastering such an ambitious project at the time when mankind was still in its infancy as a civilization? Well, the conservative researchers who want to remain within the boundaries of the official historiography at all costs answer this question as follows. It was nature. Because although the so-called Yanaguni Monument has an amazing precision and clear edges, it is said to be only an erosion platform. In contrast to this, however, is the groundbreaking approach that we are dealing here with the testimony of a completely unknown culture. A thesis which stands, however, in the glaring contradiction to the usual consensus. Thus, the opinion established itself at the time only simple hunter and collectors lived in the southwest of Japan. In addition to the straight lines and the exact angles of the structure, the supporters of the culture theory also point to the conspicuous holes in the formation, which could be column foundations. One man who has been studying the Yanaguni monument for several decades is Masaki Kimura. Once in the employ of Ryuku University, Kimura estimates that the creator culture must have existed some eight to 10,000 years ago. And it was by no means a simple structured group, but a full-blown advanced culture. We remember, basically, the Sumerians were considered to be the first people who made the step to advanced civilization. The members of this people lived in the third millennium before Christ in southern Mesopotamia. And thus, three to 5,000 years after the alleged builders of the Yanaguni monument. The first sea battle. A few years ago, archaeologists announced a very special discovery off the coast of Sicily. For the first time ever, they had managed to track down the site of an ancient naval battle. The recovered artifacts still give an idea of the brutal scenes that must have taken place in the immense turmoil of battle. Among other things, the researchers recovered battering rams, helmets, armor, and weapons. In detail, we are dealing with the remains of the Battle of the Agadian Islands, the last conflict in the First Punic War, which took place in 241 BC. The bloody conflict between the Romans and the Carthaginians, which lasted more than 20 years, ended with an ingenious move. Knowing that the enemy was superior to their own fleet, the Romans ambushed the Carthaginians and blocked their sea route with a surprise attack. In this way, as many as 50 Carthaginian ships were sunk, killing as many as 10,000 men. The Roman victory eventually paved the way for domination throughout Europe. Roman Medicine When a Roman shipwreck was discovered off the Tuscan coast some time ago, experts made a number of remarkable finds in it. Discovered near the Etruscan port city of Populonia, the artifacts attest to the exciting things the Romans gathered on their sea voyages 2,000 years ago. Thus, the archaeological treasure included lamps from Asia Minor, Syrian glass bowls, bronze jugs, ceramic vessels, and the remains of an ancient Roman medicine chest. This contained in addition to a surgical hook, a mortar, 136 medicine bottles, and five round medicine tablets. Since the ancient tablets were sealed in tin vessels, they survived their stay at the bottom of the sea dry. 
A chemical analysis then revealed how the ancient medicine was composed. Thus, the tablet contains a number of zinc compounds, starch, iron oxide, beeswax, pine resin, and other plant substances. Based on the form and its contents, scientists suspect that we are dealing with a kind of eye medicine. Deformed Mayan Skulls In January 2014, an underwater cave in southern Mexico was investigated that has long terrified teenagers. Specifically, the cave called Sahuayum is a cenote, that is, a natural pit created by the collapse of limestone rocks that exposed groundwater. The Maya were known to use such cenotes for their sacred rituals and offerings. Already the first dive of the underwater archaeologists showed that something terrible had happened in the Sakwayum. Thus, the team identified more than a dozen human remains, whereby the discovered skulls had an unusual elongated shape. However, it is unlikely that this is why the experts stumbled upon an alien graveyard. For example, many indigenous peoples in Latin America performed skull manipulations to change the shape of the head with the help of compression bandages and special boards. What is behind this practice has not been conclusively clarified. In principle, experts assume that the deformed head was intended to testify to membership of a particular tribe, but in some regions it was also considered an ideal of beauty. The Lion City Not every sunken city fell victim to major catastrophe or rising sea levels. For example, the ancient Chinese city of Xichang, also known as Lion City, had to give way to an artificial lake for a new hydroelectric power plant. While the Lion City was an important political and economic center during the Eastern Han Dynasty, it sank under water floods in 1959. In recent years, however, the authorities have taken a renewed interest in the flooded city. Local tourism official Zhou Fang was amazed to discover that the site is still in excellent condition. 40 meters below the water surface, temples, houses, paved streets, and traditional memorial arches still slumber. Heraklion, the ancient Egyptian city of Heraklion, or when a myth becomes reality. Once Egypt's most important seaport after Greece, Heraklion finally sank into the waters of the sea in the 8th century. While the exact location of the city was completely forgotten in the course of the following centuries, researchers finally achieved an archaeological sensation in the year 2000. They put Heraklion back on the map and brought to light a series of unprecedented discoveries. After removing the layers of sand and mud, the divers were pleased to discover that the city was exceptionally well preserved. Many of its sunken structures were still intact after all this time, including the temple of Amun Garib, gigantic pharaoh statues, figurines, gods, and a sphinx. Furthermore, the experts came across dozens of sarcophagi, gold coins, and over 60 ancient ships, as well as stelae with Greek and ancient Egyptian inscriptions. In addition, the experts were also able to reconstruct the reasons for the literal demise of the city. After the city was hit by a severe earthquake, soil liquefaction set in. As a result, Heraklion's main buildings sank further and further into the ground, causing the city to lose most of its spiritual significance. As a result, the site was no longer protected against constant erosion and was completely abandoned and left to its own devices in the 8th century. Artifacts from the Stone Age Swedish divers have made a rare and well-significant discovery in the Baltic Sea, a set of Stone Age artifacts left by the nomads 11,000 years ago. Most likely, the objects were thrown into the water by people at the time. Why this happened is uncertain. What is certain, however, is that the finds have been preserved thanks to the high proportion of organic matter in the sediments. At a depth of a good 15 meters, the team came across wood, flint, tools, animal horns, and ropes. The most remarkable discoveries again included a harpoon made of a carved animal bone and the remains of an aurochs. The wild form of this cattle species has long been extinct. Probably the last specimen died in Portland in 1627. Structures of Zakynthos 
When Greek archaeologists announced the discovery of an ancient underwater city off the island of Zakynthos, the enthusiasm among their professional colleagues was initially boundless. There was talk of large public buildings, of cobblestones and other significant relics. In turn, the researchers were particularly interested in the 20 stone column bases, all of which had a diameter of 34 centimeters. Therefore, what was to happen soon after sounds all the more strange. The discovery of an important sunken harbor settlement eventually turned into nothing. Thus, later conducted study came to the conclusion that nature was the true creator of the alleged artifacts. The Last Victim In the course of time, as is known, many ancient cities disappeared in the floods of the ocean. But which was actually the first site to meet this fate? Well, if you will, we find the first known marine victim in the shallow waters around the Greek island of Elephonisos. But when British oceanographer Nicholas Fleming discovered the ancient site of Pavlo Petri in 1967, he had no idea he had just tracked down the oldest sunken city in the world. However, the objects that were subsequently recovered here show that Pavlo Petri must be 5,000 years old. While the city occupies an area of more than 80,000 square meters, the experts also found ruins of buildings, former roads, and even graves here. Moreover, since Pavlo Petri is the only known city that sank before Plato wrote his Atlantic tale, it is possible that this place inspired the myth. Subscribe now, the best videos are yet to come.